Hey, yo! Beer review time. Old school. Old school. It's just that I'm old school like that. Roll that rap over soul loops like that. Shout out to uh, Danger Doom. MF Doom. Talib Kweli. It's just that I'm old school like that. Roll that rap over soul loops like that. So much to say, so much to say. <laughs> so shout out to Dave Matthews. Yes! Old school beer review. I am not in quarantine, but if you watch the channel, if you're a friend of mine, if you know, I did just get out of quarantine. I had COVID. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. And, uh,. You know, I, I like to record these reviews, these videos, in advance so that I'm not rushing to do one every day. Quarantine, obviously, had trouble getting new beers in, had trouble recording videos, so I burned through my whole library that I had stocked up. So now we're scrambling. We're scrambling to catch up to get more videos done. This is being recorded today, it is being posted today, and hopefully today will be spent working hard at my real job and also recording some beer reviews around town, around Taudien probably. Give me a shout if you want to do a video. I stocked up yesterday. I've got a ton of beers to do. Some really good ones. Some I have no idea if they're good or not. And some that are not great. And I'm going to show you in a second what we're reviewing today. It's a bit of a market correction. So during my most recent quarantine with COVID, I recorded a review for Beck's German Lager. And I went crazy high on the score. And I don't regret it. I stand by it. On that day that I did the the Bex review, it tasted fucking awesome. And then my German friend chimed in the comments, that's an insane score. <laughs> it's way too high. And it, so it might have been the most generous score I've ever given. I, I get a bad rap for being too generous on the scores. That Bex score may have been the most generous I've been. But, again, I stand by it. On that day, that can of Bex that I had tasted awesome. And it was a notch below, like, the legendary Czech Pilsners. In my mind. That's how it tasted on that day. Today... We're going to do a little market correction. See what we got. Picked this up the other night coming home from Circle K. Shout out to Buddha Bar. Wuhan Bar. Today, we're going to review... Bex Ice. German quality since 1873. 100% malt. What is the fuck does that mean? 100% malt. <laughs> How can it be 100% malt? There's no water, no hops. No yeast. It's just a fucking can full of malt. It's not correct. Chill to drink. Ice. Oh, they're saying brewed with 100% pure malt. So the malt is 100% pure? Are they just saying it's not a rice lager? Got some uh, awards they've won. Don't put your awards on the can, please. We should all be proud of the awards we've won. 
Don't put them on the fucking can. Don't put them on the label. Bex Ice, 4.7% ABV. 20 degrees Celsius. I don't know what the fuck that means. AB, Anheuser-Busch, InBev, Vietnam. Let's go. Let's fucking go. We do one sip. We give it a score of 0 through 10. We do one a day until we do them all. We try them all until we try them all. One sip. Everybody knows the rules. Old school beer review. Bex Ice. 100% malt. Smells all right. One sip. Everybody knows the rules. Tastes like uh, regular Bex, but not good. It's not terrible. Bex ice. Ice cold filtration. Drink to chill. Once if everyone knows the rules, Bex ice. Uh, my advice to you, if you're scanning the beer selections at Circle K or wherever, is just get, get a Bex. Don't fuck around with the Bex ice. No bueno. Having said that, it's not terrible. Uh, we're gonna go 6.8. It doesn't quite fuck. It doesn't quite get there. Not a bad beer, cheap, local lager. Uh, there's a big key. On the label design. Doesn't unlock anything for me. It's just that I'm old school like that. Roll that wrap over so looks like that. 6.8, Bex Ice. That's a review.